Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Today I'm out in the factory. It's Saturday, so I've got the day off. There's quite a few orders on the books, but I've got most everything to fill them, so I'm just goofing off today. Now, this morning I was up in the attic uh, looking for some stuff, and I stumbled across this beast. Uh, now, I don't ever remember making this. Obviously, I did, but... Uh, I don't know, I just found it and it didn't ring a bell. I think it's an early version, or a late version, of the Never Stove. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, it's obviously an adjustable stove. So, I uh, brought it down and played with it. It didn't work very well, so I uh, machined a couple of things on it, and surprisingly it actually works. And uh, it doesn't boil the alcohol. I had actually... I ran it for like an hour and never did boil the alcohol. But uh, there's a couple of more things I want to do to it to make it even better. And what I'm going to do and when I get all done here, if I'm really happy with it, I'm going to make myself one uh, with uh, the legs like an M100, basically uh, an adjustable M100. Now, it's going to have so much machine work in it, it's going to be crazy. Uh, not anything I'd want to build a million of. And I've thought all over building a stove like this. And I'm pretty sure that if I built one, it would be expensive just because there's a lot of machine work in it. And I'd probably sell maybe six of them to my very dedicated top-end crew. They'd all buy one and probably pretty much be the end of it. Uh, not a lot different than the M100. I don't sell a lot of M100s. But... Uh, Unlike any stove I've seen up to this point in time, this one actually does, uh, I feel, uh, go below the 20% mark on low. Uh, I've got a video of it. Now, uh, of course, when you go to high, it doesn't immediately boil. It takes a while for the boil to come up, and when you go back to low, it takes a while for the water to cool and go back down. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you a video of from low to high, from high to low, high speed. Uh, and I'll stop it and slow it slow speed when it's at its maximum boil and when it's at its minimum boil. So you can see the range of it without having to stand there and watch it for 10 minutes. Uh, and like I said, I think it's probably less than 20% on the bottom end. So let's take a quick look at that.
yeah, uh, I, I, I think that's a satisfactory boil, but you've got to realize uh, this is this is complicated. This has got uh, there's too much work in this to sell. I I don't want to get in a situation where I've got to build these. They just you know you can only get so much for a stove, and if you can't if they're so expensive you can't sell them, then don't bother to make them. And if you can't get enough money out of them <coughs> to cover your cost of machining them, that once again don't make them. So I probably won't won't make this, but I'm going to make one for myself. Uh, and put all the tricks together and see if I can make one adjustable one. And I'm sure Robert will want one when I get done. <laughs> so, uh, today when I worked on the Velomobile, so let's go out and see where I am on that. So I came out today and I put the other half of the pedal cage in. That's that 28 inch area in here, 28 by 21, uh, where your feet go around and around. It's got to be a big area so your feet will clear. And uh, I made it a little bigger than need be. There's nothing I hate any worse than pedaling in an area where you've got to be careful what kind of shoes you wear and how you get your feet because they'll bang and everything. And the way I understand the uh, Dutch made Velomobile, the Alawig or whatever you call it, uh, is a little narrow in this area and it's kind of problematic that you hit your feet on stuff if you don't wear the right shoes and stuff. I didn't want to go there so I built this one uh, quite ample and I got it all in place and I put in two of the ribs just starting to fletch it out. Now I work on this about an hour every day and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I really had a ball doing it. On the back end I'm trying to make it kind of a minimalist back over the rear wheel. Uh, kind of a witchy looking thing, kind of inspired from a bat's wing type thing. And it looks kind of cool. We'll see how that works out. If it looks really good when I get done I'll actually keep it on there. So. Uh, I'm Timmy from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have some fun today, and try to have a really great day. Bye-bye.